Hi, I'm Wanda from Alanda Craft and today we're going to make a fabric covered journal. And these are great scrap busters and they make great little gifts. Uh, they're ideal to pop into your bag. And as you can see, you can finish them with a bow so they really look lovely. And uh, I'll just, actually I've got one over here I'll show you that doesn't have a bow on it yet. But you just open it, see, and use any sort of paper. I've just used printer paper. But they're just great to pop in your handbag. So let's get on and show you how to make it. So here's what you're going to need. You'll need a piece of cardstock measuring 11 by 8 and a half. You're also going to need two pieces of fabric. One is going to measure 12 and a half by 10 and then the other piece will be 8 by 10 and a half. You'll also need some scissors, some ribbon. I have about 40 inches of ribbon here. You want some plain paper that measures 10 and a half by 8 and a quarter. You want a ruler, an awl for poking some holes. You need some coloured cord. I've just got some black that I'm going to be using. You want a, a doll needle or a large needle to poke the holes through. And some craft, uh, some fabric glue. I'm using Crafter's Choice. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run some fabric glue all over our cardstock. And I don't know about you, but it often gets gluggy and it's hard to come out. So anyway, there we go, just all over the place. And then what I'm going to do is bring my piece of material in and I'm just going to line it up on my board here, so you can see it. Now I want to place this in at three quarters of an inch from each side, so I'll just find that. It doesn't have to be exact, it's just that I happen to like having things line up. No, around about there looks, looks okay. There we go. And just give it a good press. You want it all, you don't want any Bits of, bits of pieces of bubbles or anything, you want to get that out, so smooth that down nicely. And if you've got a bone folder, you can always use that as well. So it's that glue moving around underneath the fabric. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our glue, we're just going to put a spot of glue there, and fold the corners over. These look really great when they're finished, and you make them the fabric of the person you're giving them to or for yourself you can make them in all different types. Alright so we're going to run a piece of some of the glue now and just go over your fabric a little bit but just along just along the edge here. Okay and fold that up. Right, so there's, as I say, you've still got wiggle room with this glue. You can actually keep moving your mitres until you get them nice like you want them. Sitting down. Okay. Now when we've done that, we want to place our other piece over here. And what we're going to do is glue that down and then we're going to sew it. Okay, so here we go. So just a little bit over the edge. Of your fabric. Okay. And then just across the middle. Try and get it even all the way around. It just makes it look a bit neater, but as even as you can. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a zigzag stitch all the way around. Uh, I'm using a width of 4.5 millimeters and a length of 1.6 millimeters, and that should be wide enough to cover this completely. Um, and so that's all I'm going to do. So now that we've sewn around the edge, it's time to add some pages. So what I'm going to do is to just 
bring the edges together of the journal match them up nice nice and straight as you can and just put a crease in the, in the back edge I have some paper here now you can use tea dyed paper or uh, any sort of paper that you like but I'm just using printer paper for this exercise and I've cut it to ten and a half by eight and a quarter and fold it in half. I've got about ten pages here so I'm just going to open our journal, our journal cover and lay our pages in here. And we want to line them up so that there's some so that they don't come right to the edge. Right, so we leave a little bit of a gap, just lay them on there. Now you want to measure about halfway, so you can eyeball it if you like, but I like to measure. So about four and a quarter, you can put a pencil mark there if you like, or you can just go straight in with your awl. I'm going to put a pencil mark, and I'm going to come in half an inch from each end. An inch from there, half an inch from there. Okay, take out all and just pop it in there. I find if I just fold it, now there's all sorts of ways of doing this. You do whatever way suits you, but this is what I do. Just push the all through. And then come up here. Do the same on my, my half inch mark. Push the all through. And the same down the bottom. Okay, so I have my doll needle and it's already threaded with some cord and I leave a nice long tail so it doesn't pull out. And what we're going to do is we go in through the centre okay, and pull it through. Now you probably need about three times the length of the book for your cord but I just leave mine nice and long and then I can cut it off later. Okay, so we go in through the middle then we come up and we're going to go in through the top. Let's find my spot. Okay. And sometimes it can be a little tricky to pull it through. There we go. We're going to go right down to the bottom and through the bottom hole. Sometimes I just have a bit of difficulty finding the two together, so but that's alright. You can separate them and then line them up because you've already got it lined up with the hole. And we want to bring that through. Now we're going to bring it up through the middle again. And this can also cause a little bit of trauma because you've now got two lengths of cord coming through, but let's persevere, give it a tug. There we go. All right. So now you can adjust your your cords. All right. So you want it to be firm, but not too tight. And I can see on the outside here. Okay, it's all nice, nice and firm. Okay, I don't know if you can see that black on that there, but it's firmly put through. Okay. Move the needle. Now you can leave these long if you like, and you could hang some little dangles off them. But I'm not going to do that. Just trim it for a moment. Now, when it comes to tying this knot, what you should do, what you want to do, is to put one side of your cord on that side that's there that's running through the middle, and one side on the other. Okay, you can see that, and then you're just going to do a double knot. Okay. As I say, you can leave those if you wish and uh, add some dangly things off them. They always look nice or you can just trim it. So there you have it. A little journal and you can use it for all sorts of things. You can use it for shopping or just for doodling while you're out and about. You can do them as gifts. They're great. And you can see here, um, I've tied these with a bow and put little tags on. These ones I haven't finished the tags yet, but they look great. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and if you have, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll have more 
um, interesting ideas for you in the future.